Welcome to my garden. First week of August, steamy, hot, humid Tennessee. I'm um, a plant that's thriving in the garden. Actually, it's just now starting to really take off and produce is this right here. Matt's wild cherry tomato. It's been producing for a couple of weeks. Um, it tends to produce late. When a lot of the other tomatoes in the garden here, you know, are starting to die back, die off, um, you know, they're, especially in a wet year like this, you know, tomatoes have all kinds of issues. If you're growing like heirlooms, a lot of times they're gonna split um, and attract all kinds of wonderful pests. When they do, you know, I'm into things that can, can produce without a whole lot of input from me. So Matt's Wild Cherry Tomato is definitely on my list. Um, this thing will produce up until the first frost and it will start giving me tons and tons and tons of tomatoes, which a lot of times we will dehydrate um, and then kind of have these like little sweet sun-dried tomatoes all winter, which are amazing. And I've only got two plants and that's all we're gonna need um, because they really, really are prolific. Will keep us in tomatoes and sun-dried tomatoes for a long time in the coming months. Um, I just let them kind of go wild back here. They get huge though. They take up this whole space, just two plants. You, you don't have to do anything to them. They're not gonna get diseases. They're not gonna get wilts. They're not gonna get molds or funguses. You just, you know, plant them. And then when it gets hot and humid and everything else is like wanting to die, um, these will thrive without really any input from you. All you have to do is pick and enjoy.